Glow War 36 Enthusiast here with Operation A View to a Kill, AvTac, turn 4.2 CCP. It is January 1938. Purchases, I have three IPP to spend. I will purchase nothing and save three IPP. Combat movement, none. Non-combat movement, none. I am gonna perform spreading influence on Sing Hai, probably the last spreading influence roll I will get. I will spend one to increase the chance to a one or a two. And I'm pbe it live, and I rolled an eight, so I failed. Then um, I do my recruitment roll, and I got a two again. So um, uh, that is the end of the CCP's turn. Um, okay, collect income, I collect two, I had two, so I end the turn with four. All right, <clears throat> uh, we now proceed to turn 4.3, USSR. USSR has one tech rule from rapid industrialization. I will try for improved factories at a seven or higher. PB generated a one, so I failed. And um, I do a peacetime income increase roll on a D6, and I got a five, so I, I am a bit, bit relieved by that. That totally uh, saves me, puts me up to 11, so I am back on track as far as average luck, getting that five for my peacetime income increase with the two earlier, that's seven on two D6, so that's back to average. Of course, for tech, I'm having abysmal luck, and for recruitment, uh, for the spreading influence, so painful to see that the first roll is, is a miss and second roll is, is a, would have been a success, I rolled two last two times. Okay, uh, so purchases. Um, I am. I have ten IPP to spend with USSR, and I will purchase. I will upgrade a minor factory to a medium factory in Stalingrad for six, and then purchase or lend lease uh, an artillery for four. That's all ten. So I'll save none. Um, combat movement. I am going to do a reckless attack here in Spain. So I'm going to bring everything there from Catalonia into Madrid for one round of combat, and we'll see what happens. Um, every turn, he, he, he can just keep upgrading those militia. So I'll be bringing 11 units. He's got nine units. He, his units uh, are much more likely to hit. So he should average three hits. I should only average two hits. Um, those would be the most likely outcome. But if I get uh, that I hit his, if I get the 50-50 chance that I hit his fighter, even if he hits me and takes out my medium bomber, that could really change things in, in round two. So I'm, I'm just gonna take a chance because that's the only way you could possibly win with the Spanish Republicans is take a chance. So that's why I'm doing this attack. And that's my only combat movement. Let's see how this goes. Could really use a little luck here. Just say I hit with my fighter. That's, that's all I'm asking for. Okay, so I've got eight infantry at one. Nice. Got one of these too. Excellent. Okay, so I got a got a hit. That's that's one hit. Auspicious beginnings. Then I have my mountain infantry at two. Miss. And the all important fighter at six. Really need this. Oh, that is so very painful. And then the medium bomber. Okay, so two average of two, that's what I expected, but 
that fighter missing. Heart, heartbreaking. Okay, so here's the pain. So he has four infantry at five. They're defending in a city. Uh, one hit. And then I believe the mountain infantry doesn't get boosted ab above. He can either get the boost from the mountain or he can get boosted by the city, but either way, it's one at five. Miss. Okay, that was lucky. Uh, he should have he should have gotten two hits there. He's got the two art. I should have done the two artillery first strikes. So that's going to mess up if he, if one of these artillery hit. That is going to mess me up. Um, two at three. His artillery. Oh gosh, I hope he misses. No, of course. Okay, so there's a one seventh chance. He's got two hits so far, and there's a one. There were eight dice. One of them hit. So. Um, Let's see, how can we, how can we do this? Uh, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to re-roll this on a 9, 10, or an, I'm sorry, on a, yeah, 9, 10, 11, or 12. It's a re-roll. And on a 1, then it's, that's the one that was a hit, and he will only have one hit against him. But if I roll a 2 through an 8, then that was the one of the infantry that missed. And then 9, 10, 11, 12, re-roll. So I don't want to roll a 1 here. Okay, so my infantry stands. Uh, and then he's got his fighter. This is another all-important one. If he hits, this is really devastating for me. Whew, okay, so, so he only got two hits. And uh, no, I don't think I did the militia at three. He's got one militia at three. Forgot to roll that one. Okay, so he only got two hits. He should have got three. Now, it really would have been good if I had hit his fighter, but he didn't hit mine. So let's let's think about this. He he took two hits, so he's down to three infantry, two mountain. Oh, no, 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 no. He probably would take an artillery here. Okay. And Panzer J, if you didn't want to take an artillery there, you, you can totally tell me afterwards. We can just undo the undo it by PBE. So he took one militia, one artillery, and I took two infantry. Let's think about this. Um, I'm going to go for another round because he just lost five attacking or five uh, factors. And I lost two. So let's let's take another chance. <sighs> okay, so I've got six at one. Did I did I roll my bomber? I don't believe I rolled my bomber. I'm gonna roll my bomber. Or did I roll my bomber? My fighter missed. Yeah, yeah, I did roll my bomber. It was a hit. Okay. Six at one. Miss. So I rolled 14 at one and got one hit. That's totally average. Here's one at two. Oh, it's almost a hit. Nope. One at six. That's a hit. God, why couldn't it have been last time? And one at seven. That's a miss. Dang it. One hit. Arg. Okay. Let's see how bad the pain is. He's got four. One at three, with, which is his artillery. That's the one that's dying. Miss. Two, four, five. I'm going to roll the infantry separate from the mountain in case there's something I'm missing. Here's the four infantry. Yeah. Okay, two hits. And then the mountain, three hits, and then the fighter. Okay, I have three hits. So I did one to him, and he did three to me. Oh, this game is just not going my way. All right, I think I gotta call it off.
if uh, Panzer J doesn't take his artillery, I reserve the right to um, elect to consider continuing the combat, but um, if he does take the artillery, then I retreat. Okay, um, so he has four infantry and a mountain, and I've got three infantry, a mountain, a fighter, and a bomber that retreat. Okay, non-combat. Let's start way up there in P1. I am gonna have that submarine take the northern route over to A9. And from A9, let's get that on camera. Oh, I guess I should do, I've got some moves down in Amur. I'm gonna have that motorized infantry, well, strategic rail move from Amur over to Oral Kursk. These two fighters from Amur will fly to Novosibirsk. <sighs> okay, let's see. Um, from Smolensk, I'm going to have four infantry move up to Western Russia. And then I'm going to have in C zone M4, let's go down to the Mediterranean. This uh, coastal sub. Here we'll move one space over to M2. And then up in C zone A23, I will have the heavy cruiser and destroyer move to A12. One, two, uh, A12. Wait, why did I have A12? One. Hmm. No, I don't like that. Yeah, A12 is right. One, two, three. I don't know why I was having, uh, I was thinking I was moving up north. Okay. Um, and then that torpedo boat destroyer. Sorry, A12 is there uh, right next to A14. But up in A9, I have that torpedo boat destroyer. And it will move two spaces. One, two, to A5. Okay, I don't think there's a major port up there. Nope. Okay. Um, is there any other movements that I'm missing? Okay, placement of units in Stalingrad. I will upgrade that medium factory to a major factory. Um, and then I will lend lease from Leningrad. I'll embark the artillery and debark it down here. You know, hindsight 2020. Ugh, if I could go back, I, I would, but Ooh, that's not very focused, is it? Um, okay. Ah, oh, this game. Okay, we've got some recruitment roles. For Mongolia, I miss with a nine, and for Spanish Republicans, I succeed with a seven. So I'll have four infantry there in Catalonia. Let's do our disposition. In Catalonia, I have four infantry, a mountain infantry, an artillery, a fighter, a medium bomber. In port, I have a heavy cruiser. In M2, I have a Spanish Republican destroyer, 
whoops, let's get that on camera. Spanish Republican destroyer and coastal submarine, uh, plus a Soviet coastal submarine. Up here in A5, I have a torpedo boat destroyer. In A12, I have a heavy cruiser and a destroyer. In A9, I have a submarine. In A14, I have a light cruiser, two destroyers, and three submarines. In Leningrad, I have a marine, uh, a militia, uh, an infantry, a tactical bomber, an air transport, and a seaplane. In northern Belarus, I have a light armor. In western Russia, I have five infantry. In Moscow, I have two infantry. In Karelia, I have five infantry. In Oral Kursk, I have three cavalry, five motorized infantry, one light armor, southern Belarus, one infantry, southern Ukraine, one infantry, Crimea, one infantry, Transcaucasia, three infantry, Novosibirsk, two fighters, Central Karelian, one infantry, one cavalry, I'm sorry, Central Mongolia, Karelian, a militia, and Amur has a militia and three infantry. Uh, oh, USSR collects 11. Next up is Boston Bruce with Japan 